Today we're going to make a lemon garlic mayonnaise and this is something that you will always find in my refrigerator and once you get used to making your own mayonnaise you will probably never go back to buying it in the jar at the store again. <laughs> so I really love the flavors. I think it takes all of my dishes to the next level. It gives it a lot of additional flavor. So of course you saw me use it in the tomato pie and then you can use it on sandwiches and little tacos with some blackened fish and cucumber. Oh, so good. And then little BLT sliders, really nice there. And especially in the summer, I use it a lot in different kind of cold salads that I like to keep in my refrigerator so that I have something that I can just go to for a quick lunch. So here I am using it in some chicken salad that I had some chicken from the stock that I made earlier in the week and I used some fresh vegetables from the garden in there. And then I also use it in some seafood salad. I showed you that recipe last year. And then I also use it in my pimento cheese and I'll try to show you that video here soon. Now, this is just a quick snack. Maybe on the weekends I can treat myself to some cold smoked salmon and then some olive tapenade with the garlic mayonnaise and put it on a little tortilla chip. It's real salty, but it's pretty good. I like salt sometimes. It's also really good to just use to make different kind of sauces, dipping sauces. So I always have that ready to go. Now here are the ingredients. Like I said, it's really easy to make. You don't need a lot of things. And once you get used to doing this, you'll see how easy it just comes together in no time, okay? So we'll go ahead and start by separating out our egg yolks and then I'd like to save my egg whites so that I can make meringue cookies later in the evening. Now I'll show you that hopefully at some point here in the future. So let's go ahead and combine the rest of our ingredients. We're going to add our lemon juice with the salt, the white wine vinegar, and the mustard. And I like to use just a straight yellow mustard. I think it makes it really good, but you can use certainly a Dijon or something like that. And then we'll just stream in our flavorless oil. I like to use safflower oil. And it will come together probably in about two minutes, two to three minutes of streaming. You'll have a beautiful little mayonnaise. You can also add different kind of flavors. Now, like I said, I'm making a lemon garlic, so I'm going to smash my garlic really good. This is from my weekly garlic prep that I showed you last week in a video. And so I like to smash it because I don't want big chunks of garlic in here. So just um, kind of stir that in. You can also roast your garlic, which I think would be really good. And let's go ahead and just transfer that to a little container. You should end up with about one and three quarters cup to two cups of mayonnaise. And I like to just give it a little tag with a piece of removable scotch tape and with a little um, date on it. That works out real nice for me. Okay, and so I'd also like to invite you to head on over to my Google Plus page. Um, over there you can follow me. I share other things besides just cooking videos. I like to share a lot of gardening videos and just other things as well. So thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day. Bye.